Okay, so we want to look at uh, this question. Using the definition of partial differentiation as limits, find f of z of uh, x, y, z, given that f of x, y, z is equal to x, y, z to the power one over three. So uh, the solution, so I'm saying the partial of z is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x, y, z plus h minus f of x, y, z over, over h. So we substitute, we have the limit as h goes to zero, x, y, z plus h, everything to the power one over three minus x, y, z to the power one over three over h. Now, we know that when you multiply, if you have x one over three, you multiply by x one over three. What we get is x two over three. So we cannot use it uh, when it comes to rationalizing. So we need to rationalize in a, in, a, in a very wise manner. That is, we need to multiply this by two over three, so that when we add, we'll just get x three over three, which is equal to just x. So we'll look for such a structure. So, this means that we need to multiply uh, this whole top part, z plus h, to the power one over three, minus x, y, z, one over three. So we multiply this whole thing by x, y, z plus h, to the power two over three plus x, y, z plus h. This by x, y, z. So let me use a different color here. I'll do this to the power one over three plus x, y, z to the power two over three. And then we close here. Then we multiply this very thing also in the denominator here. So x, y, z plus h to the power two over three plus x, y, z plus h multiplied by x, y, z to the power one over three plus x, y, z to the power two over three. Okay, so you notice that we now have the limit as h goes to zero. When you expand this, the first components will give you x, y, z plus h. And then uh, the second component, you are going to get x, y, uh, z plus h to the power two over three. So I'm going to get to the power uh, two over three and then x, y, z to the power one over three. And then when you multiply by the third part, you get x, y, z plus h. This whole thing to the power one over three um, and x, y, z to the power two over three. Minus, we now start multiplying by the second one, this one, by that, we'll get x, y, z to the power uh, one over three and x, y, z plus h to the power 
2 over 3. Another minus uh, this part by that part, we are going to get x, y, z plus h. This to the power uh, 1 over 3. And then x, y, z to the power 2 over 3 minus x, y, z. <clears throat> because the powers now are going to add 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3. That's going to be just 1. So we have this whole thing as the numerator divided by the denominator, which is h, x, y, z plus h, uh, 2 over 3 plus x, y, z plus h, x, y, z, everything, the power 1 over 3 plus x, y, z, to the power 2 over 3. Okay. So then, uh, if you look at the, the numerator, you notice that this part uh, is cancelling is cancelling this part. Uh, so here, you must note that this is in the same brackets. Okay. And then, with the other part, this part, this part is being cancelled by this part. So we just mean by this and that. And if you expand this one, it becomes x, y, z plus x, y, h. So again, the x, y, z and the negative x, y, z gets cancelled. So we just remain with x, y, h. So what we have now is the limit as h goes to 0 of x, y, h over h and the other part x, y, z plus h uh, to the power 2 over 3. Not forgetting that these are in another set of brackets. And then plus uh, x, y, z plus h, x, y, z to the power 1 over 3 plus x, y, z 2 over 3. So all this is together. So what we have in, on top is just this. And then <coughs> this h and this h gets cancelled. So where this h now when you put a 0, so we put a 0 here, we substitute a 0 there. So we're just going to remain with the um, so here we remain with x, y, z. Here we remain with x, y, z. So on top, what we have on top is x, y. And down, we have x, y, z to the power 2 over 3. Here we have x, y, z multiplied by x, y, z inside, uh, which becomes x, y, z squared. When you bring in the power outside, it will become x, y, z to the power 2 over 3, which is what we have also here. So when we add them, we have 1, 2, 3 of the same kind. So we're going to have 3 uh, x, y, z to the power 2 over 3, which can be written as x, y over 3xyz to the power 2 over 3. So this becomes our, our answer. So I hope you are able to follow very well. And I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And also click on the notification so that you'll be able to get more videos as I post. Thank you for watching.